Nation, Gabe. And the one you come for, Nick. What's up? <laughs> We're here today to bring you another installment of Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. And Nick, you know, honestly, we're saying it excited, but, uh, you know, it's kind of a tough video we're going to watch, but it was a request. We always try uh, uh, to get to as many requests as possible. If you guys have sent a request and we haven't missed, especially if you're a Patreon, please send it again. Uh, our, you know, our schedules are jam packed, but I promise you eventually we will get to it. But uh, this request, you know, we felt like we wanted to um a, a, not address it, but get to it finally, simply for two reasons. A, we got the ashes starting. You guys see the kid with the bag of green. You know what I mean? I can't wait. Ashes coming up. England, Australia. You know, I was watching, like, the predictor. I hate that stupid predictor thing or whatever. But it's like, you know, Australia, 44% chance to win. There's, like, a 19% chance to draw. And then there's, like, a 21% chance that England wins, wins like, the, the, the series. And I'm like, like, math does not add up. <laughs> like, bro, are you even giving them that high? What are you kidding me? Oh, you, wow. Bro, bro, you don't listen to my man, Dr. Jihan? You don't listen to my man, Dr. Jihan? Whitewash, baby. Whitewash. Five and oh, cousin. Do, I, and oh. do I need to listen to him for more than three seconds? I already know what the prediction is. <laughs> Five and oh. Five and oh. Shout out to you, Jihan. But, you know, with that being said, Nick, uh, uh, the, the video that we're going to be introducing, you can introduce again. Uh, 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 the video since you were the one that got to the uh, request, but it's um, more of a somber move. But again, out of respect, we wanted to go ahead and, and and get to it. Yeah, so we're checking out a request from Mayan Shaw. He said hit us up through email, and you know sometimes it's a great way to hit us up through requests. Borderviewnation at gmail dot com. Get those requests in, and he created either he created or a friend of his created a tribute to Philip Hughes. And we've heard a lot about Philip Hughes. We know how that story ends, but we don't know too much about how the story began or the middle of it. And so this is a five-minute tribute. It's a very brand-new video. came out just about a week ago. And it's on this channel. I mean, this reaction is going to have more views than the video itself, but it's on the channel Win It. They have one subscriber. Now they have two because I just subscribed to it. Check out this channel if you like this tribute, and you can see other videos as well. And uh, oh, baby, tripled, tripled deluxe. And so Philip Hughes, obviously, we know he passed away tragically on the cricket field. And uh, I think it was like a domestic match, Sheffield. And very, very tragic. But I don't know too much about him. And we got the ashes coming up. And it's always good to respect those that came before, especially those that literally gave up their life for the game that we love so much. So we're going to check this out. This is a tribute to him. I'm super excited. I love anything related to sports as far as films or documentary. So tributes are right down our alleys. We're going to talk a little bit about Philip Hughes beforehand. So he was born at the end of November, and he passed away at the end of November. So this is kind of his time as well. I'm sure he loved himself, the Ashes. And he was a test player, an ODI player. This guy made his test debut in 2009, and I think it was in his second match. First innings, 115. Second innings, he got another 100, I believe. Or maybe that was in a match later on. But still, he became the youngest cricketer in history to score centuries in both innings of a test match. And so that's really, really cool. This guy could score. He's got some centuries in ODI as well. And he passed away in 2014. So we're going to watch some more on this tribute. We're going to learn a little bit. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Win It channel. And Gabe, you got yourself the baggy green. What do you want to say? You know, uh, um, I always think to myself when I hear this story, right, the, 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 the things people just don't understand unless you've been a professional athlete or related to a professional athlete. And, you know, Philip Hughes sacrificed his life for the game, right? There's no bigger sacrifice. But realistically, if you're an athlete, if you're a great athlete, okay, you've sacrificed your life for the game, okay? And, and, and what I mean by that is, you know, from a very early age on, your life is is dedicated to that game. And 
you know, you miss birthdays, you miss parties, you know, you, I've, I've mentioned the story on here before, A-Rod stopped eating sugar at 13. How many 13 year olds stop eating sugar? No more birthday cake, nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, my nephew, uh, uh, John Riquejo Jr., who currently plays uh, professional uh, football or soccer for us, for the few American fans that we have who watch CFA Nation, um, you know, Bro, I can't tell you how many times we went to Carpinteria, California, which Savannah's family's from for Christmas or Thanksgiving or wherever. He wasn't there. He's training. He's at camp. He's in Europe. You know, he was played for the men's U15, U16, U17. Until you see a couple of personal, you don't realize that you 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 sacrifice your life in more than one way. You know what I mean? And and I remember listening to your Laker fan, listening to Kobe. And Kobe was like, you know, those relationships he had when he was in, in high school and then, you know, it, it, they started dissipating because it became about basketball. And literally, he's like, I, I slept four hours a day because it was about grinding. It was about playing. It was about the dedication. And when you see what these athletes um, uh, um, dedicate to the sport, dedicate to their craft, dedicate for our enjoyment, let's be candid. Right. We have to really appreciate what they do. All right. Right now, baseball in, in America has a, a lockout. I am disgusted with these owners. How many more yachts do you need? How many more boats do you need? You know, pay these guys their money. Because if it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be making any money. And, and, and it wasn't for those players. You know, they, they are your product. And they sacrifice so much more than you've ever sacrificed. You probably inherited a team or inherited some money. Or maybe you made some good decisions, right? Maybe you're a self-made millionaire. But you still have not bled, bled or, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, as they say, as these players have, bro. Because you do dedicate blood, sweat, and tears to become a professional athlete. And even when you're there, you are. And in the rare occasion that it happens, because it doesn't happen too often, Nick, but in professional sports, athletes do lose their lives. Wasn't it another Australian? Wasn't it Don Bradman, right? He almost died on the field because they had to, like, carry him off, bro. He was Dean just, Jones. Uh, Dean Jones. Dean Jones. You know what I mean? Not Don Bradman. Uh, man, what did I tell you guys? That's why he's the best in the business, okay? I, I'm just a guy. I'm here. I'm here. But uh, I always think about that because even now, looking at my my son, who's 17 year old, years old, getting ready to go uh, to college. We've got colleges, you know, hit him up on Twitter, send us emails or whatever. You realize how much of your life is encompassed between going to games, going to tryouts, going to workouts. And we've already had to cancel a few things because he has other commitments. So, man, I, I, I tip my hat before I even watch the video. Uh, I doubt, you know that his family would ever uh, hear about us. But if his family happened to run across this video, uh, Philip Hughes deserves it, a tip to his family, because you as a family members also sacrifice uh, uh, a lot when, the, when, when, when those players aren't around, when those people aren't around, man. But um, those are my thoughts, and I'm excited to watch this video. Um, again, I knew about the story, but I think I've only seen maybe one video of him actually playing. Yeah, absolutely. And and just to your last final touch on your note there, we've heard nothing but amazing things about this guy. So, I mean, that tells you a lot about the man. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm super excited for this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in three, two, one. A boy just beginning, 25 years of age, baggy green number 408. His father's best mate. There it is, a hundred on debut. Son, brother, fighter, friend, inspiration. In the north coast town of Maxville, where the river runs right through, came a boy with a talent that his father owned.
He'd been dumped. Edged and gone, yeah. Form from Brisbane. Phil Hughes was out early. Alligatera's third victim. Oh, got him! Oh. Wow! How about that? 115 when Phil Hughes fell in the 23rd over. <laughs> Hamburglar! Hughes is getting on with the job. Missing test selection so far this summer, he's been batting well for the Blues, giving a glimpse. played his last game where his spirit lives forever Maxville so Back proud him. but most of all he loved his family every day he spoke to them no matter where he was in the world a good guy who fought for everything he ever got and then fought some more who never gave up in death he brought the sporting world together, the cricket community, to make us all laugh again. Cheeky little bugger. He'd be <laughs> up there smiling on us now, wanting us to be happy, batting as well as he ever did. We loved him and always will. So, it's tough. Because we we didn't know this guy as a player, as a fan, or anything like that. But when you watch that, you feel, you know, you definitely feel the love, you feel the respect, you feel the the kinship that he felt with those who who wrote that song. I'm assuming they were close friends of his. Those that created the video, and even though the video itself was a little choppy at time with the editing, and you can you know that is what it is. The message was resounding. And I love how they kept referring to it as 408 because that was his number. That's a number that no one else is going to have. He had 408. And you think about the time that he came in, you know, Australia, and, you know, they're still a good cricketing nation. Don't get me wrong. But very competitive, right? Very tough to, to try to get in there. And he's, he's playing with younger Warners and younger Finches and all this different thing. 
But the, the message of the video was simple, that this guy worked hard. This guy just kept at it like a lot of these athletes. And this guy was able to make it. This guy was able to, you know, celebrate with, uh, with Ponty and all that kind of stuff. Just really, really cool to watch that video. You know, um, again, not even we knew who he were, who he was, and we knew the impact that he had on the Australian cricket community. But there's a difference between just knowing, you know, hey, a player died, this player died on the field. Obviously, to your point, this is somebody who apparently was close to him, at least the people who wrote that song, right? You know what I mean? And you could feel the the the, the emotion behind it, right? Uh, um, and I honestly, I think it's a productive way to deal with mourning and deal with loss, you know, try to honor, and I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, try to honor someone who I want to say pass as opposed to just, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, get all depressed about it and stuff like that. And, you know, that those, all those emotions that run through you, but, you know, watching that video for me, I think the hardest thing, it really makes me reflect my own relationship and my own journey with my dad, uh, uh, coming up as a young athlete and now my relationship with my boys and it's it's one of those things where bro it, it does it's a lifelong journey it's a long sacrifice and you know anybody that's played a sport at any level knows that you know it is it, it's tough it's tough you're gonna go I like how they put the, in there the fact that you know he had his downs as well as his ups right every athlete will you know if, you know failure is a part of the game you know what I'm saying Somebody's got to lose, right? Two teams show up some, or two players show up. Somebody's got to lose uh, regardless. And um, it was super, super uh, uh, touching. It was a really cool touching uh, uh, tribute. And I think that um, I the, the last thing, I think they showed a touch of class, not actually showing the injury or the hit, you know, just showing like that kind of like the pictures or whatever. Because, I mean, again, this is out there. His family, his, his kids may run across it. You know what I mean? Mother, family, yeah. whoever. You know what I mean? So they just showed like, the, the 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 stills of it as opposed to that actual and i'm sure that it's out there we've actually seen it but i would prefer not to you know what i mean dude right. to just to show to just show that class but uh i think it was a great video put together well guys uh um go ahead and and show them some love you know what i'm saying um go ahead and watch your original video uh nick will link it i'm sure in the uh, comments and um more more so because i think that this was their way of of how would I say expressing their loss, express expressing their grief, expressing the love they had for him. And if you're an Australia fan, if you're a, a, a fan of cricket, period, all right, this is just all athletes, the amount of sacrifice that they make. It's not just them that sacrifice, guys. It's their families and their loved ones. So show them some love at uh what's the name of the channel again? We uh oh, win win it win it win it uh, at win it and uh win it. You got your third subscriber over here. Uh, 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 look for that uh, Joker card. Look for that Joker card. You know what I'm saying? Bro, people have been stealing <laughs> my emoji, bro. I got to come up with something new. But uh, final thoughts on this one, Nick. Uh, it's it's tough. Um, I've experienced loss, close loss in my life, and it's something that I I don't like to talk about. And it's something that is is tough to overcome. As a fan – it's not as tough as a family member or a close friend, but it's, it's still awkward. It's still weird. It's still like, Oh man, like what could have been, but the crazy thing is this guy made it like he's got his baggy green. No one's ever going to have that number. They're never going to get it to anybody else. This guy accomplished his goal and would have more than likely been able to accomplish it even more than he did, but he made it and it was tragic, but he went down doing what he loved. And it's just, it was great. I learned a little bit there. It was great to watch that. Thank you so much for producing that video. Thank you so much for the request. And thank you so much for watching this. We appreciate it. And until next time. That's six runs.